morning. Beauty. How's it going guys? Welcome to the video. So we're out for a day in the woods here and uh, I'm just trying to make my way back to a couple of trout fishing ponds where uh, I had some success last winter. So it's a bit of a trek to get back here, but uh, yeah, that's the, the idea today. We're out for the full day and uh, got the two dogs, Millie and Goose with me. So Plan is to spend the day out here uh, snowshoeing around, try and make it back to this one particular pond that I have in mind, and uh, drill a few holes, hopefully get a meal of trout for the smoker, and just uh, have a good day out in the woods. So hopefully you guys enjoy and stay tuned to the video. So just came up to this little brook here. Got some otter tracks. You can see where the otter, two otters have been sliding along. Or maybe it's just one that's been going back and forth here, but got a little slide made right down to the brook. Well, spring is coming. Brooks are all starting to open up now. It's a beautiful time of year though. We're at the second pond now. And I gotta be careful here because this brook flows out of this pond right here and you can see the, the pond is starting to open up here at the mouth of the brook. Goose, get back here. Hey, hey. So I'm gonna walk way out around here just to be safe. So I'm not gonna bother to stop and fish on this pond, at least not on the way in. So this is actually uh, the pond that I had my canvas tent set up on last winter a few times. And I didn't have much luck on this pond ice fishing. So I'm gonna head into the next pond, which is probably about another 15 or 20 minute walk up over a hill. And that's where I did the best with the fishing last winter. So that's gonna be the first stop. And if I don't have any luck in there, I can always stop at this one on the way back and try here as well. Puffing and puffing here now. Whew. It's all uphill here now. So here's the uh, there's the little brook that runs out of the pond that we're headed to. Almost up to the next pond. So soon we do some fishing. Get a couple of holes down just right here by this brook. See if we can have any luck. All right, so I got three rods here, so I'm gonna get three uh, three rods fishing here eventually, but I'm gonna get the first one down now and just see if there's any luck right off the bat here. So just got a spinner and a worm. All right, well, I got three holes down. One, two, and three. And uh, I'm fishing for about a half an hour now, no luck, not even a bite yet. So not looking too promising yet, but uh, I'll give it at least another hour or so here at this spot. And if I don't have any luck, there is one more pond that I can go uh, 
right up at the end of this one and cut through the woods there's another pan there i can try so we'll give it another shot here for another hour or so and then uh, if we don't have any luck i'll move on oh yes Woo oh that's a nice one <laughs> yes sir what is it millie oh yeah it's a beauty trout ah yeah look at that one what a beauty all right so a lot happened in a short amount of time there uh so I went down the pond, just down in this cove behind me and drilled a hole down there just to see, because I wasn't having any luck here by this little brook where I stopped first. So I didn't bring the camera with me. So I went down, drilled a hole just after I dropped my line down. I got this guy. So I came back to get the camera and check my other lines. And uh, when I came back, I had this beauty right here. Had him hooked on one of my other rods. And so I just pulled this guy up and turned the camera back on. So anyways, seems like our luck is starting to pick up a bit, so I'm going to get my uh, my lines back down with some fresh bait on, and hopefully we'll pick up a couple more, but yeah, we got a couple of nice ones here, so we didn't get skunked at least. Hopefully we'll get a few more here. So, still just got those two trout. And I uh, haven't had any action since, so I've been fishing for a couple of hours now all together. And uh, it's around lunchtime, so I think I'm going to take a little break from the fishing and uh, just snowshoe out through the woods here. Find a little spot to light a fire and uh, boil the kettle and have a little lunch. And then we'll come back out on the pond for another couple of hours this afternoon and uh, see if we can't get a couple of more trout to take home. Another one. <laughs> this one's a little smaller, but I think he's just big enough to keep, so. Ah. So, I was just uh, checking my lines one last time before I went up uh, in the woods there to light a little fire for lunch. And uh, I hooked this one, so this was number three. And then I put a new worm on, put it down, and as soon as I put my hook back down in the hole, I got this little guy here, so. Uh, he's a smaller one, but he's just big enough to keep, big enough to fry up in the frying pan, so. Yeah, that's four, got two quick ones there. Anyways, I'm gonna drop my hook back down again now and just see if there's a few more hanging around there. So I'll fish for another few minutes, and if I don't have any more luck, I'll uh, head up in the woods and get the fire going. Alright, so 
I brought some moose sausages to throw on the grill over the fire here for lunch. Uh, I thought about bringing a frying pan and stuff to fry up some trout, but every time I uh, plan to do that in a video, like catch and cook type thing or whatever, I always jinx myself and I never end up catching any trout. So I figured this time I would uh, bring something else for lunch and if I got any trout, that would just be a bonus. So that's what I did and it worked out. So I got the Biddy Big Q Grill here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I showed this in videos before, but for anyone who's not familiar with it, this dandy little uh, folding grill. So it folds up that way and then it got four lags on it that fold out as well. Not, uh, not sponsored by them or anything like that, but it is a nice little grill. So whenever I have gear that uh, I find is a good deal or it works well, I, I don't mind showing it in the videos and talking a little bit about it. And then it just pulls out like that and there you go. So dandy little grill. The only complaint I would have with it is the bag that it came in was uh, basically a piece of junk for lack of a better term. So the bag completely fell apart within the first few months that I had it. So I just found this bag at home that something else came in another grill that I used to have. So I've just been using this bag for, uh, for the bitty big Q grill but other than that the grill itself is awesome. Alright let's get these sausages on to go. What flavor do I bring? Honey garlic. Honey garlic, Millie? Yeah, you're coming around now that the food is out, aren't you? It'll take Millie long to smell the grub. Oh no, the water's tipping over. had it up here first but then it wasn't boiling fast enough for my liking so I put it back down and right on the fire and of course it tipped over on me. Ah oh, we're good. Still pretty much almost full. Keep it up there now. Hey what are you doing? You can't have that. I'll get you some sausage when it's cooked. Not going licking that old blood. Alright, water's finally boiling. Nice strong coffee coming up. Sausages are going to be burnt up here if I'm not careful. Fire's a bit hotter than I'd like it to be. Millie, don't touch. So, wind is starting to pick up quite a bit now and it's clouded over. It was an absolutely beautiful morning on the way in. But yeah, not too bad of a day. So, new sausages will be done here in the next few minutes. So, just gonna enjoy, uh, enjoy my lunch and uh, then we'll head back out on the pond. So, like I said, I got four decent sized trout there. So. Even if I don't catch anything else now, I'm pretty happy about that. I managed to get a meal out of it anyway, so that's all I, uh, I really wanted to get was just a, enough for a meal. So yeah, it's a good day. Hopefully we'll hook a couple of more now after lunch. So just wanted to say thanks to everyone for uh, following along on the videos. So the channel just, uh, just passed 1,500 subscribers here a couple of days ago after my last camping video that i put out so yeah thanks to everyone who subscribed and liked the video and left a comment and shared it and all that kind of stuff so 1500 subscribers and uh, still slowly climbing so pretty happy about that and i've got another giveaway in the works so i'm uh, just waiting on a couple more prizes to go with it i haven't done a subscriber giveaway here in a while 
so I'm gonna put together a couple of uh, nice prizes and uh, sometime in the next few weeks in my next couple of videos after this one stay tuned because I'm gonna I'm gonna do another giveaway so don't you don't want to miss that come here Millie come around here I'm gonna treat <clears throat> Oh, girl. All right, well, we're back out on the ice. So, as I was walking back across the pond here, I noticed that this uh, rod was tipped over. So when I came back out, I had another trout on. So, there's a nice one too, this, this guy right here. So another beautiful trout. So that makes five. So here's the catch so far. Nice little meal of trout there. Anyways, I'm not getting much of the action on camera here, but uh, that's just the way it's been going. So every time I kind of go off to do something else and stop paying attention to the lines for a few minutes, it seems like I uh, that's when the trout decide to bite. But anyways, it's all good. We got a good meal there now, Millie. Hey, good girl. So this is Millie's first day out in the woods now for a long time. So uh, I hadn't gotten out with myself for a while. And then uh, a couple weeks ago, she got uh, surgery to get fixed or whatever. So she was laid up for another couple of weeks after that. But yeah, she's uh, she's back on the go now. So she'll be coming out on uh, on some of my trips coming up, some of my camping trips, hopefully. So, it's been pretty quiet for the past uh, hour or so, not much action going on. So I'm just gonna clean up these, uh, these five trout that I got here. And uh, I'll fish for another little bit, but we'll soon be calling it a day. Not really in any rush to leave all the same because it is absolutely beautiful out again here now. Oh yeah, nice trout. Nice and orange on the inside. Beautiful trout. All right, guys, we're gonna call it a day here. So, uh, fishing's been pretty slow for the past hour or so, and it's starting to get late into the afternoon. So, I'm gonna make the trek back out to the truck here. It's an absolutely gorgeous afternoon, though. Man, just beautiful. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, actually, I wasn't even gonna bring the camera along today. I just wasn't really in the mood to mess with the camera. But I'm glad I did because it turned out to be an amazing day. So, you know, sometimes the, uh, the days where you don't really have much expectations can turn out to be the, the best days. So, today was a pretty good example of that. So, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I think the next video coming up on the channel will be another overnight camping video. So, stay tuned for that. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, there'll be another subscriber giveaway coming up soon. So keep an eye out for that. But until next time, feel free to like, uh, leave me a comment, share the video. It all helps out uh, more than you guys probably realize. So I appreciate it all. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one.